Hello everyone, I'm so excited to come your way today. A number of people have contacted me regarding the possibility of answering questions or taking you guys through in other units such as microbiology, histopathology, biochemistry and immunology. I have given that a thought and I decided to collaborate with some friends and colleague here who are already working in the UK to help to address any possible questions that can be asked either in histopathology, immunology, microbiology or biochemistry. The whole idea is to help you guys to do well during your interview because you need the required knowledge to be able to do well and excel in that interview and of course the overall get the job as a biomedical scientist. Therefore, I hope as you listen that you are going to enjoy it. After listening, please feel free to put any comments of any question that you have regarding the video and I'm more than happy to answer or get that colleague to answer, answer the question. Okay? Yeah? So, we'll be looking at two other questions. What control is used for ABPAS control? ABPAS control is known as Asian Blue Periodic Acid Sifts. Asian blue, these are special things we do in histology to confirm diagnosis. So most times after we've done the basic stain, the H and E, that tells us, okay, this is what it is, this is we are saying um we are saying we are saying ion, we are saying um we are saying fungi. So we'll go further to do some special things. So in this case, for Asian blue PAS control, the special stain we the control we use for them are controls that has missing in them so we can't say we are taking sample from the liver or from the kidney so we have to look for tissues that have mucin in them to help us confirm if they're actually mucin in the suspected case that we are looking at so we use the small intestine we use appendix or we use colon then another question says why is a b p a special thing in importance this stain is an important stain because of what it does and that is what the question is asking the question is saying why is it important it is important because we want to identify acidic and neutral mucin in tissue section so these two stains have each of their function the asian blue stains the acidic mucin while the pas stain stains the neutral mucin so the nutrient procedure clearly separates the acidic and the neutral mucin by color and can be used to distinguish all mucin in tissue section. Asian blue pH 2.5 stains the acid mucin blue, while the shift reagent stains the neutral mucin pink to red. The mixture of the two mucins appear purple. This can also be linked to how uh, hematoxylin performs. Hematoxylin stains the nuclear component of the tissue, change the nuclear component of uh, stain blue. That is what Asian blue is doing. It stains the acid mucin blue. The same way Matosin stains the nuclear components of the acidic components of our cells blue, which is the nuclei. It's that clear, please. Asian blue stains the acid mucin blue. The same way Matosin stains the nuclear components of our tissue blue, which is why the Eosin stains the cytoplasm pink. So the neutral mucin will be stained pink to red. And the mixture of the two of them we appear purple due to the positive reaction with both Asian blue and Chiefs reagent. Then this, um, like I said, we do special things to confirm our diagnosis. So in this case, we're trying to look at gastric carcinoma. So that is why Asian blue and PAS stain will always be a special stain of request in the case of gastric carcinoma. Thank you. So if there's any question, you could always relate to the instructor. We'll look at it together and we'll give answers then subsequently we'll look at more questions on the histology thank you very much have a great day so i hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know how you know the video has helped you by putting a comment in the comment section and of course like share subscribe okay thank you very much we'll come back your way again bye bye